guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl jennifer how are you guys doing it's been a hot minute i don't know why i keep saying that and i'm sorry guys sometimes some of my video might be a little bit blurry or clear i don't have control over this this has to do with my effing camera lens it keep auto focusing on me here and there trying to focus on the background trying to focus on my movement that's why some of my videos will be too too blurry like or too like it's too much anyway first of all have you guys washed your hands if you haven't please go and wash your hands before you keep on watching this video because i have washed my hands before even coming here to talk to you guys and i still wash my face as well even if i have applied cream so I did wash my hands and my face so go and wash your hands and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe before you go and don't forget to like this video so guys for today's video I am gonna be doing a soft glam makeup for fair to dark skin women of color you know um since i've not been in the makeup game for a couple of months so i feel like coming back to do makeup here i just need to start something easy slow don't need to just come with a vibrant white color which i do tend to go for but i'm not really feeling the vibrant eyeshadows on my face right now so i really want to go for something brownish chocolatey chestnutty you know caramel kind of look and hopefully i'll be able to achieve that today and yeah. so guys to start first we our face we need to prep and prime this skin for so i'm gonna be applying a day cream you know with our spf or 50 this is natural uh, this is naturally radiant infused with plant extract brightening day cream i've been using this for like a couple of months now and i really love what it gives especially that i just shaved as well my face so i actually need to cover the pores because i can feel it you know um what so i'm just gonna apply my cream or spf as well this is gonna help protect my skin underneath my makeup even if when i do go outside you know so since you've washed your hands you can touch your face and just massage your spf across your face like just like your normal cream you normally do once you're done with that wipe your hands of that cream away because you know you're gonna be touching lots of stuff um yeah can get up to go wash my hands right now so you also want to you know moisturize your lip nobody want that crack lips dry as lips so make sure you actually put some you know lip balm to hydrate the lips and next i'm gonna be priming my face i'm using the milk makeup hydro grip primer this is kind of a silicone primer to prime my face to actually make my makeup foundation last longer you guys know already it's not a new thing you know you know just prime your skin after you know moisturize them it just make the makeup look a much much last looking longer kind of thing even your moisturizer can also serve as a primer because it has a good component that holds up makeup or foundation together i have tried it and it makes it really really smooth so i'm gonna be using the fenty beauty pro filter foundation it's an hydrated foundation in 420 as my foundation as my base makeup Ooh it's so cold right so you know you make sure your brush are clean i just washed on my brush over the weekend and they're out drying you know so you make sure your brush are clean this period you just want to be clean of dirt of anything so i use yeah, I decided to use this foundation because it's a hydrating foundation. Um, I don't feel like wearing a matte foundation because I don't want to feel too dry, especially if I just, you know, um, shave my facial hair. So I also love this foundation just because it's so smooth, nice coverage. Oh, 
so much good thing about this if you already know i like to you know do my foundation before my eyebrows so it shouldn't be a new thing and i don't think i am gonna do my um eyebrows yeah because if you don't know how to do your eyebrows yet i don't know what you're doing or probably you're just growing up please there's so lots of videos on youtube on how to do your eyebrows you know i've done so much videos of it and i don't think i keep repeating myself honestly it's just next if you finish with your foundation base we just want to conceal and contour to define the face to structure the face to not make sure everything is looking worn you know so for my under eye concealer i'm going to be using these two concealer together which is the juvia's place number 12 concealer is very light and kind of um golden warm on the neck like uh, on the chin and the Fenty Beauty 370 concealer. The reason I'm using this book is one is the warm golden and the other one to be light bed warm. So that will give me the highlight contrast I need. Even if I do use this, it's still gonna be very, very flat. So this will actually bring the, the, the definition and the shadows out. And for contouring, I am gonna be trying the new Bobbi Brown is it Bobbi Brown sorry I'm gonna be trying the new Barberry foundation stick this is called deep brown in number 66 six. my sister is using this but I just feel like this is too dark for me as a foundation shade so I'm gonna be trying this as the contour shade I want to see how blendable this foundation stick is and if I will like it like we're gonna do a V structure. Wow, not too much. And down the nose. Just a bit of circle. And a V down the chin. And if you wanna cover the mustache and the edges, you're free to. I think with just a little bit of concealer goes a long way it does tend to spread out the face and covers and moves sometimes I still go ahead to apply the light concealer on top as well but I what I tend to do is just to blend out the first concealer they go ahead with my contour and then my second concealer that's where in that way you see everything is coming to action so i will normally use a beauty blender to blend but i have been using a brush to blend my concealer and i've been loving it but for today i really don't know which one to go for you know let me just go with what i normally use a brush i, I feel like using a brush to blend your um concealer tends to put the product and blend the product in place Compared to when you use a beauty blender, it does blend but it also moves the product while you're doing it. You know, especially if you just wash your beauty blender, it's gonna soak up all this concealer. So what I normally do is you know, it seems like you know if this concealer might be gonna might be drying quickly, so I'm just gonna start on the forehead first try to blend it outwards and start with the jewel because this those are the areas I applied a little bit concealer to so they might tend to be setting quickly and then you move to on top of the mustache area around the edges of the nose you can do the nose at this point it's up to you but just blend areas that you tend to apply a little concealer to and then you move to underneath the eyes which is still wet but you won't make sure you blend lightly i don't know this is my right heart it seems like there's something itching me and i can't tell it could be lack of sleep because sometimes when i don't sleep uh, longer or properly my eyes tend to itch me and you know if there's nothing in my eyes that means i should go back to bed and sleep Oh my god i'm so beautiful i've not even finished this makeup and i'm already loving the look contour oh it's nice but it looks really dark so i'm gonna put a little bit and it's so cold as well you know i've not been doing nose country i don't know why but today i might do that 
so what we're gonna do we're gonna blend everything together oh i love this dirt fiber brush good for blending and i just washed it as well to me when i blend my contour i make sure i put my first concealer first then my contour into my first concealer that way it mixes the color together kind of give you a bit chocolatey vibe then i go ahead with my second concealer and that brighten up my own the eyes and makes it look different you know from being one you want to make sure you blend 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 and once you're done blending you can then go ahead to apply your second concealer I'm still need to blend more but I just want to apply it now so I blend together when you're applying the second concealer you want to be careful you don't want to go ham like you did with your first concealer because it's just gonna just overshadows everything you just have a little bit goes a long way and then go ahead and blend this time around you blend nicely oh my god I am loving this. Mm. Nice, nice. You see what I'm talking about? You see the difference in blending? You see how I lighted my under heart is? Mm hmm. We back guys as you can see I went ahead to do my brows and also set my concealer um, the part that I use to set my under eye is the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder in translucent and that just blends you know make my under eye and everything look one but however I'm, I'm still gonna go ahead to use another powder and this is the hair spawn loose face powder is really really light and it actually actually unlights the face wow 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 as you can see the powder is so so nice and brightening i'm just gonna leave this on the ear what i do the red stuff on my face just to make sure it keeps my face bright so i'm gonna use the mark and w46 just to you know i can really use this for my under high yeah you know what i'm just gonna dust a little bit first and i'll use this fan brush to you know set the rest of my face because i think my other brush is inside where is my other brush actually it's a bit weird how do you guys like my hair? Mm. I'm gonna be using Murphy, you know, continuous contour palette. I know this has been discontinued, but I really love this palette. So I like to go for the middle bit here, not to, you know. Ooh. Gain that vibe. You just want to make sure you blend the contour out because you don't want anything very, very overused and patchy, do you? Nobody wonder. So I'm kind of like blending this contour just right into where the concealer and the powder meet, so it should not look too obvious. Ooh. You can use a different brush to contour your nose. Or you can use the same brush depending on how big and how you know your brush is. I like to use the same brush just because there's excess of contour on the brush, so I don't need to get out of that brush to contour the nose. I could have left the blush to the end, but I just feel like I need to do everything now. So by the time I get to the end, it's all sinking in and setting. I'm gonna use my all time favorite blushing palette. It doesn't have a name, but I've had this palette over five years now. You can say if probably expired or not, but this is a powder. I don't think powder do expire. As far as not, as far as doing the work really. So um, I could have gone for a pink blush, but I don't want to look in pink. So I'm gonna go for this mauve slash 
orangey color um as my blush the reason is just to give it a bit of pop of color to my you know um soft glam melanin look but again i don't want it to be too pinky if you get my drift so you want to dab your brush your blush or just on top of your contour where again your concealer and your eye contour and your powder meet just want to dab it there and up towards your edge of your eyebrows because that is the high point when people see when you turn like this so like the apples of your cheek when you smile you go like this and then the highlight goes up oh it's beautiful beautiful if you think it's too pronounced blush use your contour brush to blend 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 so everything looks cute 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 so i'm gonna be using a two eyeshadow palette to create our eye look and that is the arusha mood beauty palette and mix it with my um anastasia beverly is as jackie aina eyeshadow palette and this is gonna be my second time using this palette i tell you since i got it and this is effing expensive this is about 40 something pounds i'm using it for a second times and again with a matte cosmetic um eyeshadow stock i'm gonna be trying using the lighter shade here to give me a bit of my ombre or whatever i'm going for so to prime our eyelids i'm using the p louis base in room one number five to prime both of my eyelids and blend them out i think i actually applied a new bit that i should probably apply more i'm gonna use this um yep you guessed it this anastasia so I'm going to go for ginger and I'm going to apply it to the corner of the eyes and blend it to the crease, you know the crease circuit like this. So I'm not going to go too deep on the crease but just, ooh, wow, this is what I've been missing, very blendable pigmented shadows, like I don't even need to put too much but I can see the shadow popping up. But with this ginger, it's coming out as a bungadi kind of mauve shade. I am gonna go with this Mood Beauty Arusha palette, and I'm probably gonna use mm, Nana combination of Jabari to blend everything out. So first is Nana. It's a really mustardy color. Not not so much mustard, but that's what I want to say. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, it's so nice. I could have just used that as my high base, you know. Now, I'm just gonna just blend underneath the card crease. The card, oh, guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. Just enjoy to make sure nothing is lost. Ooh. and this time around you can bring ginger forward if you want to we're gonna go back to our jabari it's a really dark brown chocolate color just to define the edges of this Ooh, it's so chocolate Ooh. Ooh. you know what let's just put it there we just gonna use the leftover on the brush just to blend everything out so ginger is gonna blend out a uh, jabari which is a really like uh, probably dark chocolate out so it's not too overpowering mm -hmm. and you know blending forward so i decided to apply p louise acidic red black canvas that's what gave me that line over there um so i'm gonna do the same over here so i really did not know what i was gonna go for i just wanted something light then i end up getting that shape so i'm gonna try and create it here as well so i went ahead with blur from um map cosmetics to set up to set that um base 
black curvy so that gave us this um shade over there so you want to make sure you top it in every edges you want to go over to your ginger again and blend this time around you're gonna bring jabari a little bit forward you know and you wanna make sure you blend the edges out yeah so guys i'm gonna go ahead to put my lashes remove this powder and come back we're gonna do our least lipstick and spray our face guys lashes do make everything look 10 times beautiful lashes eyelet and lipstick you see i've already transformed myself and i'm not even done yet so what i did you know while you were not watching i said to put a bit of line out just black just tiny bit not very obvious to tighten the uh water line okay no more english but i just put a bit of black liner and the lashes and the mascara and i look beautiful already and i went ahead to do a highlight the highlight i use is the profusion highlight from makeup forever very subtle highlight not too much as you can see and next is to apply our lipstick i have three lipsticks that i would like to use today i have this one two from Jura Cosmetics and they are Madison Avenue and Sedona. I haven't tried Sedona yet, but it might look beautiful. And the third one is Cock from you know those of color. That is a beautiful chocolatey brand lipsticks, and I really like it. And what else did I do? Obviously, you take up I take off my powder and stuff, and um, I line my lip. I use the um, Gerard Cosmetics lip liner in Mott Slide. It looks a bit too as of a not brown but purplish color, but we're gonna use our brown to cover that up. So, like, you know, I'm gonna go with my dose of color and a bit of highlight with my medicine. Should I go for a glossy lip or a matte lips? You know. I've been wearing gloss in the past few weeks, so let me go matte lip. Ooh, it's a really chocolatey color, and I like it. Mm. So give it a bit of a highlight, not to just make the lip look plain. So I'm gonna add this Madison Avenue. It's a bit of a peachy color. Hmm. I know it does complement the highs, but you think it needs to be a little more lighting up? Mm. Anyway, so I am gonna set my face with the Hangover from Too Faced 3 e one What's it call it? Setting spray. Mm. Welcome back guys, you can see I'm looking good. I love this my look. I need to be making up every day because look at this beauty. Okay, I'm having trouble with the leaves because I think I did layer like about full um, matte lipstick and it's a bit too, too much. But you know what, after this outro, I take a picture and I go clean my lips and I go eat but really guys um this is what I call a soft glam look and this is so beautiful because you know me I'm always that colorful kind of thing um I didn't know that doing this my thing I don't know what I call it cut crease kind of eyeshadow is gonna make my eyes my look so beautiful my highlight my lips everything just blends together like i am so impressed and you know with my hair and there's nothing much i can do with my hair just because it's a short hair i probably might change the color or you know there's nothing much you can do with my hair it's you have already seen it that's it that's what you're gonna get so the makeup do complement my skin do complement my hair and the look and everything the hair brush is not too big guys i'm i'm trying to rate myself because i haven't worn makeup in such a long time and wearing it now it looks 
different it looks amazing it makes me feel good so yes i am gonna rate myself uh so my soft glam you can either wear a lipstick a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss and you want to make sure everything is very subtle not too much not too much of pop of color very cute so guys if you did enjoy this tutorial this video the chick chat and everything please give this video a thumbs up and leave your comment below and we'll talk about it guys if you don't enjoy this video fair enough you can check my other videos to see what you will like but don't forget to subscribe before you go if you haven't subscribed yet it's really really important and until then guys i will be seeing you shortly in my next video and i don't know what i'm gonna do but we will find that so guys take care of yourself be nice to all that stay indoors wash your hands you know self quarantine isolate yourself have fun be nice to orders and do not panic peace